deal with the king. There are times within a person's life when they will curse the limitations of their own human body. While it can perform many actions, there are moments when it's simply not enough. Have you ever tried to swim underwater for long periods of time? Perhaps you have been beaten senselessly by a hulking bully. It could be that you are late to your destination. Whatever the reason may be, I can guarantee that you wish you were stronger, faster, bigger, or smaller. You may have wanted to change your appearance at will, or have the capabilities to perform any other superhuman power. For years, Humans have had to rely on the progression of technology in order for them to lift extremely heavy stuff or arrive at their destination hurriedly and the like. But what if I told you that you could gain these superhuman abilities for yourself? You probably wouldn't believe me. This does seem reasonable though. As a matter of fact, I would doubt your sanity if you did believe me. But for those whose sanity has slipped, there is a way to be granted with what you wish. The ritual to do so is not particularly difficult, not at all, but the hard part comes afterwards, and those who have gone through with the ritual have never lived their life the same again. The ritual begins with you locating an area in which you would be alone for miles. When you do find such a place, you must fall onto your knees and repeat clearly the phrase. Let it, Let be, it known be known that I have, I have forsaken, forsaken the path of holiness and call on to the king, king whose throne, throne lies on the sea. sea. If the king has heard you, he will summon himself before you. He will command you to stand and will then ask you for your wish. You can ask him for whatever human augmentation you would like, but you can only pick one. Additionally, make sure you speak very clearly. The king will then inform you of the cause. The removal of a small fragment of your humanity every time the superhuman ability is used. He will then extend his hand. This is an extremely crucial point in the ritual. The extension of the hand is his offering of a handshake. Now, you can decide to withdraw from the deal, in which case he will inflict a large cut onto your hand. The king does not like those who waste his time. Alternatively, you can accept the deal, in which case you are to shake his hand. Choosing the latter option will instantly grant you whatever it is you wished for, and the king will go back to his throne. This marks the end of the ritual. As mentioned before, at any point you activate your ability, you will lose a small fragment of your humanity. The smart ones tend to be very economical with their power usage as a result, or at least they start off that way. At some point, anyone who has an ability that surpasses that of other humans tend to end up abusing it. Even though it is through tiny fragmentations, their humanity withers away inevitably. There will be a time when the person with power subtly but surely morphs into a creature that represents their ability and their personality. But the person with power will not notice this 
for they have fallen deep within the recesses of their own foul nature. All those people will know is how to use their power for their own advantage. Before long, they will have completely mutated into a subhuman beast with no knowledge of who they are and where they come from. They shall be slaves to their own power. The first ever case of this deal with the king occurred with a man who grew jealous of his own brother's strength. These brothers were the great grandsons of the man humans refer to as Adam. Furthermore, it is passed down through several books that Adam met the king, who tricked him into eating a forbidden fruit. To this day, the king continues to make the deal with humans who seek power greater than they can handle, and they continue to transform into unknowledgeable creatures. Little do most know, you have probably seen one of them before.